Hello everyone, this video is the first part of a sequence of two videos where we will be showing how to use some functionalities available in the dependency panel. So the dependencies are used to determine the sequence of activities within your schedule and Studio UD lets us define our activity dependencies manually or automatically. The automatic option involves the definition of rules to generate a reproducible sequence and they can be created based on 3D world coordinates or based on an attribute. Today we will discuss about the attribute based dependencies and as I've just mentioned they operate regardless of an activity point's location in 3D space. Instead an attribute is used to govern whether a dependency is formed. Let's have a look and get familiarized with the data I'll be using in this tutorial. What we have here is a very simple sub-level benching design, and it basically contains a decline, level access, ventilation shaft, or drives, and stop. These stops were generating using MSO, our mineral shape optimizer software. I've already created the dependencies to the development using spatial based rules. That's why we can see links between the decline and the level axis, or between the level axis and the OR drive. We also have a dependency here that it's guaranteeing that the first stop of each level just can be mined after the end of the corresponding or drive. However, we don't have a dependency li linking the stops between themselves. And that's the reason most of my stops are shown in the beginning of my animation, indicating wrongly they are mined in the beginning of my project. The point of this video then is to create these links between the stops using rules based on attributes and then obtain a realistic animation of the project. As an extra information within the solids, we have an attribute called level assigned to it. And we also have an attribute called region. As we can see here, the design is divided into East region and West region according to their position relatively to the decline. Using the information mode, we can see here other attributes we have inside the solids. Some of them, as a stop num, are coming from MSO. Before we properly create the links, let's understand the logic of the, the dependencies we want to create. We've already seen there's a dependency between the end of the OR drive and the first stop of each level. And what we want to do now is to link the stops from the same level between themselves, making sure a second stop just can be mined when the previous one has finished. Another thing to keep in mind is, since we're working with two regions, East and West, stops from the same level but from different regions could be mined at the same time, since they are not dependent between themselves. Now that the logic was already understood, let's access the Edit Dependence Rules panel and create a first set of rules. As we can see, the first rule was created automatically, but we need to adapt it. We see here the fields required, and they are a filter, a grouping, a sorting attribute, sort direction, and lastly, a layer where the dependencies will be stored. The first thing we will create is our grouping, and to do so, we click here. So to define the grouping, we need to think between which elements containing the same attributes we want to create a link. Since in this case, the links are between stops from the same level and region, we will pick level and region as the attributes to be used to grouping. 
If we take a look in our design again, we see that the mining direction is almost aligned with the x direction, which means I can use x coordinate as the sorting attribute. However, on the west side, the mining direction is the x direction ascending, and on the east side, it's descending. Since we have then two rules and each of them applied to one region, it needs to be used a filter that is specified to which element each rule will be applied. In this case, then, we will create a filter that selects just stops on the east side and another one that selects just stops on the west side. Now that the filters were created, the rows can be set properly. Once it's done, we click Apply, OK, and we process the rows. We can see now links were created between the stops. And if we play the animation, we see they are not shown at the beginning of the project anymore. However, the levels are being mined, all of them at the same time. This is happening because there are not links between levels. Next week, we will be fixing this issue and discussing some other aspects of the dependency panel. So keep following our social medias to watch part two of this video.